Hey everyone, so thanks for joining in. Um, today we're going to be talking about assertions. And in the body paragraph, assertions come after a topic sentence. So let's get started. So a few important words. If the topic sentence stem from the grounds of a thesis and the assertions stem from the ideas present in the topic sentences, your assertions bridge your topic sentence and your evidence. There can be as many assertions as you'd like, but there should be at least two. For our purposes, the assertion come directly after the topic sentence and before the citation of evidence. More advanced writers can stray from the above bullet point. So some vocabulary to remember. Question, assert, revise, summarize, and context. And summarize and context are like the same thing. So as you see, the assertions, they are the main branches of the tree. You have your ideas, they're the roots, your thesis statement is the trunk, topic sentence is the main limbs, and your assertions are the branches that sprout off of those main limbs. So we have to make a, a connection, and the way we do that is we question our topic sentence. How do we get to a topic sentence? Well, we remember this from our previous unit. A topic sentence stems from your thesis statement. So in this topic sentence, um, we're focusing on ground two, I'm sorry, ground one, which is the disempowering setting, the paralyzing dream world. So we ask our topic sentence a question. Who, what, when, and where? The number on Elm Street's paralyzing dream world creates a frightful atmosphere in this monumental horror film. So we can ask questions like, who does the above have the most effect on? What does the above entail? When does the above occur? Where does the above happen? So for this one, we're going to ask, when does the above happen? Initially, teens are stalked by their, in their dreams by Freddy Krueger, but it does not hurt them. As Freddy becomes stronger, the teens' dreams become more frightful. Freddy manipulates the dream world to murder the teens. So these are all, these are three answers to this question. And I can make three assertions based off of these answers. So the first thing you want to do is make a rough assertion, and we did that already. Initially, teens are stalked in their dreams by Freddy Krueger, but he does not hurt them. My goal was to revise my assertion for style and provide context for my audience. Assertion is in red, summary is in blue. Now, if you notice, sometimes a summary can come first, it can come at the end. It doesn't really matter the order that you put these things in, it just need, you need to have assertion and summary. In the opening scene, Tina Gray is stalked by Freddy Krueger in her school's boiler room. The dark, foreboding setting disorients her as she tries to escape. She awakens visibly upset but unharmed. So notice that the first sentence and the third sentence are objective information, objective information meaning that you cannot argue this. But you can argue the assertion because that's my opinion. You can argue that the dark, foreboding setting disorients her as she tries to escape. You could argue something different. Maybe you don't think it disorients her. Maybe you want to choose another word to use. Maybe you don't think that setting is dark and foreboding. Um, so you can argue that. That's because that is subjective. And to test our focus, if you put everything together from the thesis statement down to the topic sentence, down to the assertion, you should see that your focus becoming narrower. Um, it's getting more specific. But let's see how this looks in real time. So we're going to choose a Disney movie to do because I have two little kids at home and that is my reference point at the moment. Uh, we watch a lot of Frozen. So we're going to be using that. Um, back to topic sentences. In order to have a strong assertion, you need to have a strong topic sentence. So when you guys are writing these, these topic sentences, whether you're using your independent reading books or some other piece of uh, content, it's really, it's really important to have strong topic sentences. So one way that we can do that is by having an action verb close to our subject. So Nemo's annoyance 
for his father's overprotective protective ways leads to his capture. The vast ocean disempowers Marlon at the start of the start of his search for his son. Dory's forgetfulness presents many issues for Marlon. Nemo's mother's death causes anxiety in Marlon as he raises Nemo alone, and the director depicts Nemo as a young fish yearning for independence. So maybe we can write a topic sentence about Frozen. So let's do that now. Cool. So we have our subject. And we have an action verb right away. So that's a really strong topic sentence. So we're going to question this topic sentence. What are some examples of where her power creates division between her and her sister? So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of restating the topic sentence into a question. Um, so I'm just going to answer that real quick, like in a real rough format. So at the beginning of the film, after Anna is cured by Patty, the troll guy, I'm sure you guys remember that, right? And then the second time it does, and it happens more than once, more than twice, but it's uh, when Elsa flees to her ice castle and refuses to reason with Anna. Okay, so during those two points, that's when we see um, her powers create a rift between her and Anna. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give you some context. Okay. I want to give you some summary. So, and then I want to lead that into an assertion. So let's see how we do this. And because we're writing in summary, I'll use blue. Beginning of the film. Giving you guys some context. You can choose how specific you get. In your um, in your summary, but right now I'm going to jump into an assertion. So let's see how I do this. There, I got my action verb. So it's a pretty strong assertion. Um, let me see if I can do it for this one. Just so you guys can see how it's done. You guys remember Coronation Day, right?
And you can say maybe like instead of experimenting, you could say like bracing. Her abilities. Okay. So here I have my summary. And now I'm going to get to my assertion. Now, if I want to use independence or acceptance, right? Because she's like accepting, accepting her ability. But you can always just change that later. And what you'll notice, guys, is that sometimes you have an assertion, but you have aspects of summary in it, because this is not an assertion right here. This is a summary. So you can see the difference between the two. So that is assertions. And what really makes them strong is that you have a strong topic sentence. Um, and I'm sorry, you have a strong topic sentence and that you question that topic sentence that will allow you to come up with an assertion. But you need context and summary to make that assertion ring true. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, reach out. Have a nice day.